a shot, and I have live ordinance on the ceiling up there. It's safe. Okay. But it is here, right above here. Okay. Right there. That's okay. And if you get to the point where you say you want me to move, all right. Uh, all my guys. Are okay. I have never, until now, seen myself in any of this, and just you know, seeing. Seeing it, I remember the scene so well, and seeing it like this, it's just, just things you put in the back of your mind, realizing that Helena's dead. So her, hers appeared to look, it went through her uh, her right uh, underarm, yeah. and it, yeah, the exit point was on her back uh, left shoulder blade, so. It went, it went through, so. And it just, brings it right back to the forefront, the reality of what happened. You know, someone, a great person, and she was fun to work with, and she's gone. And what, it just was so unbelievably terrible and so unthinkable, really, so unthinkable. That's the gun. Okay. Come with me. I would have never thought in a, a million years that I would be in the spot looking at something like this, I have, having seen it go on, you know, really. It's just so far out of the realm of what you you think in your mind is gonna happen on a film set. And, and, and that's part of the complacency. I think you just, something like this happening, you know, live rounds and, and that, it's just not something that you, it's not part of the vernacular of what we're doing and for this to happen, it, you know, uh, it's just unbelievable. I mean, it's, it's it's unbelievable. So it's hard to watch just because it, uh, I mean, obviously it has changed since this, my life has changed drastically in a million different ways. And, and, and not just physically, I mean, even, even looking back at, it almost is hard to look at because it's, it seems so unreal to me that it even happened. It's, it's kind of almost like looking at someone else doing, but I happen to know exactly what they're saying and thinking at that time. So it's, it's hard. <laughs>